Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Riverview on this exciting Tuesday the 6th of September where we've all had the latest update from um, Giants for the game which has also brought free content to everybody in the form of Valtra tractors um, and some bug fixes in the latest patch 1.7.1.0 version of the game um, currently I'm just driving around trying to do a little bit of work myself just to get the shaders updated because it is a little bit stuttery at the moment the game is following the update which is a known issue always happens every time there's an update you have to wait for your, sh your shaders to be updated and refresh but I basically going around and playing on the map for several minutes while your system does all its wonderful bits and pieces so players don't need to go running off giants forums or steam forums or whatever and can start complaining that this update's broken their fps and stuff because it's common you just need to play the game for a bit folks and it fixes it it will fix itself once you've got updated your shaders your shader cache Okay. Um, the issue I'm having today, ladies and gents, on this lovely Tuesday, is that not only have I, we had the farm sim update, but I've also had the OBS update today for my recording software, um, which has brought many new features, such as the ability to record natively HDR content if you've got a HDR system monitor etc you can record natively in hdr and enjoy all the wondrous lovely things that hdr brings the problem i'm having is that as as of trying to record this video hopefully this video works because all the other ones i've done haven't <laughs> um basically um, the recordings keep, uh, uh, for a couple of minutes of recording, my PC keeps completely crashing with the new OBS. Um, it's happened a couple of times now, and I've had to completely power cycle the PC, take the cable out, power cable out, hold the power button, put the cable back in, and switch it on, get it to flip and reboot each time so what I've done just before I started actually recording this video was go into my OBS settings and disable all the new stuff um, the HDR stuff the new encoder Nvidia high efficiency encoder thing and I've set it all back to what I've set all the settings back to what they were before they updated so I'm using, still using the old X264 encoder at this point. I'm not recording in H in HDR, HDR. I'm doing a bit of a fiddle with some color correction setting filters and some um, LUTs to basically make the video appear HDR. Because <laughs> um, obviously, prior to this OBS update, there was no way to capture HDR on the um, in OBS. It wasn't a feature. It's something that's been added new with this version 28 update um, because it, it requires the use of the new the new X265 encoder, the the higher well, the higher efficiency encoder it's supposed to be. But I think that's a bit of a lie because. To, to encode in X265 it requires way more of your GPU your GPU there's a lot more GPU usage when doing any encoding in X265 than there is in X264 the ben now of course what the benefit the benefit of X265 over X264 is X265 is supposed to allow you to have the same video quality but in a smaller file size than X264. 
so you can it basically it, the compression and all that sort of stuff that it does to the video is apparently obviously a lot better more efficient so you, therefore you get smaller file sizes but at the same quality so what most people tend to do with the HEVN bank coder the high efficiency coder is increase their recording quality so that the file size the file size that they record remains the same as it did on X264 so if I like I'm recording farm sim videos my 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 raw videos when I record tend to be about 15 gig of the video files tend to be 15 gig before they go into my editing software and get transformed um, they're about 15 gig so what I what you're supposed to be able to do with the x265 encoder is you can leave that file size at 15 gig but you'll get a much higher quality um, texture resolution video um, compared to the x264 um, but for whatever reason doesn't seem to be working for me maybe it's because on my my PC is not you know my processor and motherboard are quite a bit old now um, obviously the RTX 2080 Ti graphics card is not old massively you know it's pretty it's still a pretty good graphics card um, but I just wonder if trying to record 4k <laughs> At the same time as playing in 4K on the same machine is just too much <laughs> for my PC. Until I upgrade to a much better spec PC, I'm I I've got to forget trying to do NVENC X265 encoding or whatever. But anyway, that's enough of my hardware and technical issues. The fact that I'm seven minutes into this video now and I'm still recording is a positive sign it means it's not crashed this is the furthest i've got <laughs> since the obs update but yes i'm working through the contracts that we took in the last video so plowing field 20 which i am going to buy after plowing it um because i have got plans um, to do stuff with it i probably will end up um merging it actually with uh, 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 uh field 18 which is obviously grass field over here lovely little grass field might go through and uh, merge that or make what that one big field um or what i might decide to do what i might decide to do is merge it but then don't have it as a grass field have it as a a crop field because obviously we've got big field 14 over here as a huh i'm a bit concerned uh why is that guy no dude stop I don't know what you're doing over here. <laughs> he's kind of gone into business for himself there. Don't know what he's doing. Don't appreciate it. Pack it in. He's on the wrong field. The last thing I want him to do is reset the growth on that field. Because um, that field's going to be ready for mowing soon. I'm going to be able to do a load of nice silage bales with my fantastic new... Um, baler. My fantastically new baler. My Kubota fast bale, which works very, very well. I'm not going to lie, work very well. Okay, there's a little bit of a visual glitch when you do the um, 
when you do the 180 centimetre round bales, when they're emerging from the machine, it tends to the bales tend to clip through the machine a little bit, but not bothered by that. I can live with that in exchange for the performance gain I'm getting and the fact that I'm being able to make and wrap 180 centimetre bales with that baler. And there we go, that's the grass field rolled. What machine is this? This is my 7 series. I don't know if this is the 7 series powerful or not. Do cultivating. The 7 Series is a Stevie 7 Series, so it's 295 horsepower. Okay, and I have got a disc arrow that requires 360. So, the answer to that question is no. No, <laughs> you cannot do cultivating with your current tractor I'm going to guess I've got the 8 series on the trailer that's working the harvesting contract at the minute um, I know I've got 619,000 bucks in the bank but I don't really want to spend the money at the minute so yeah, my 8 series is over here, look, doing, um, um, doing combine duty. He's waiting for him to get full. This is what he's doing. Obviously, we're ploughing quite nicely. So we'll keep ploughing quite nicely. Like I say, we will buy this field. Uh, probably do a bit of a merge and purge on the field. Um, sort out the edges a little bit where it needs ploughing. And then I can paint some, well, I can paint some new edges over the field, actually. which is an option. Um, there is no fertilising contracts. I think I went and covered that recently. I'll tell you what, we're going to need fairly soon, ladies and gents. We're going to need some food for our cows. Um, and some food for our chickens. And food for our cows. Horses are going to need some food as well. Hmm. Right then. Um, he's unloaded. Good stuff. Right. Then, I guess what we'll do then is we'll go get the mixing wagon. And we'll mix some TMR, shall we? This is the first time I'll have mixed TMR. Since I've actually done a little bit of an edit and tweak to the um, to the old storage doodah, the bale chipper over here, should I say? To try and slow down that um, feed. Um, that's better. A bit more control over that lot. Help me, no one, so I can see how well I'm filling this. And 
got DMR. No mineral feed because I haven't got any of that. Playing gents. 47,000 metres of TMR. And I've used a little bit more silage than hay there. Hay is in quite short supply compared to silage. So when I come to mow field 14, and I mow field 14, what I'm going to have to do is kind of split the field, do half of it as hay and half of it as silage, just for this first time. Which south end is that? I just popped up. Was it that one? Was it that? One? I've got a feeling I'm at this one. Yeah. So yeah, that's the one I've just fed. Um, and we need a lot more. And obviously I've got like a hundred cows now. Those two in each pen. Yeah. And do the straw. Do the hay. Do the sign. We've got DMR. One of the things I don't know at this point is when I updated this map to the latest um, version from Cavalier Roy. I don't know if I update, change the animal food to possibly the cows are now only working in cereal, which means they're going to eat TMR first before they start on the hay, and then they're going to eat all the hay before they would start on the grass. So like at the moment, I've got 130 odd thousand litres of TMR, they won't touch any hay or grass until they've ate all the TMR. So they're going to only eat TMR. I think I made made that change because um, I was starting to think poor old Dolores was going to really struggle to provide total mix ration and hay if they were eat if the cows were consuming the food in parallel. I was going to need so much hay. Um, that it was going to be just a uh, fucking fat. <laughs> I was going to, I would end up having to buy so much hay bales from the store um, to, uh, to come and put into storage that I was like, mm, uh, so I think, I think possibly when I updated the map, the latest version, I think I set the animal food so that the cows consume in, they consume in parallel. They concern, um, sorry, consume the food in cereal, again, like they do in the vanilla game. Whereas normally, on all my Let's Plays, on my Let's Plays, for me, I normally change the cows so they eat in parallel. Okay. One of the things I normally do as well, which I haven't done on this map, is norm normally I change the food as well. I normally don't give them grass. 
I normally have hay as the bottom option, and then I normally have silage as the middle option, and then TMR. Because again, I think to myself, why would I give the cows grass when they have a whole pen of it that they're wandering around on? It doesn't realistically make much sense. Um, but then also people would say, well, why would you change it to, to them eating hay and silage? Because you're going to need hay and silage in your TMR. Um, so now you're effectively doubling up how much hay and silage you need. And you're going to struggle to keep up. And you're quite right. You are quite right in that sense. I just also realised I meant to take this load up to the um, other cow pen. These guys have got a lot of TMR now. We'll take the next load up to the other cow pen. So yeah, I don't know whether to maybe play around with the animal food. Uh, for future saves, future maps, where instead of actually giving them like grass, a silage as a loose material, I actually put different things in there, give them some crops. I know some farmers in real life will supplement cows with actual like crop crops, not just like TMR and stuff. I wonder if that's something I can do. You know, give them some grain crops um, that I have plenty of. Wheat, barley, that sort of things. Um, and then give them something else to eat. Maybe some beans, soybeans. Soybeans might be a good thing. I don't know if you would give cows soybeans in real life. What am I doing? I'm making the balls up, ladies and gents. I've made a balls up. I was loading straw instead of silage into my mixer, so I ended up making a load of porridge instead of um, PMR. And you can't do anything with porridge. I can sell it. If you have the sell everything mob, um, which is kind of cool. Sadly wasted a whole bunch of hay and straw, but I've got plenty of straw. The hay I'm a little bit bitter about losing. The only other option is to go and tip it on a field where it all comes out, I think, as hay. If I do that, because I've done it in Carlsden when I've messed up my mixing of my um, TMR. Silage. Boom. TMR, baby. Let's go give it to cows number two. Must be the straw trigger there then I keep running over. And this must be for these hundred cows here. 
Yes, it is. No. Go get some more TMR. TMR goodness. And fill it all with straw. Ten thousand liters or thereabouts. Seems like a fairly healthy mix. Of course, something else I could do in the future. Because you always seem to have way more straw than you ever will hay and silage. Is maybe I could tweak the um, the recipe for TMR so that it actually uses more straw. It uses maybe fifty percent straw. 25% hay, 25% silage in the um, in the ratio. I think I've done that. I did that. Used to do that in FS19. Um, used to make the straw the bulk component of my TMR recipe in my um, global company productions and stuff because then that saved me saved a lot of hay and straw it's, sorry hay and silage sorry it saved you a lot of that because you're basically using straw which straw is something you never you never really run out of because you can get it from most of your crops and you can get it from most contracts harvesting contracts so you're always going to have potentially quite the excess of um I wanna get a good I wanna get into a good position whereby when I start on my uh, I don't have any issues getting this to a load. Anyway, there's a screenshot for the thumbnail. Right, well, there's my plow. That has not finished plowing. Because he's gone into the corner and stopped. Thinks he's done. You're not done yet, pal. Well, a little half a field to do over there. But, I know, he missed bits. Now, there's a good chance as well that after I do this contract, the field's going to change state anyway. And, I could end up with a completely uh, jaffnack situation. deviating off for. I think obviously one of the things I will do with this field before um, I work it would be paint around the edge. Even if I am going to use this field for grass I will paint round the edge a little bit to give myself a little bit more room. Um, and so I'm not driving on this ridiculous slope over here. And also the fact that I'm not going to be having to worry about these posts. Which, like I say, in, in some parts of my map, my, my map, 
have collisions and in other parts they don't which is really confusing because the whole point of the map update or one of the things that Cavalier Roy said about the map update was that it was going to going to add collisions to all edges and um hmm, weird some of them it doesn't seem to have any effect on right he's off to the grain mill how is the grain mill doing by the way we've got nothing in the grain mill currently okay because i'm using a mod that prevents contract material going into the um yeah there's a bit of an issue here i need to kind of oh oh no i hate this i've read something on That's completely hosed that now, I think. Pretty sure this guy's delivered here before that. Not sure why he's crashed into the bridge. I might end up deleting a lot of those dots and just having a, a single two-way because there's no AI traffic for me to worry about and just have a single two-way down the middle of the bridge so the guy just drives down the middle of the bridge and doesn't get anywhere near the edges I think that might be the better solution but I'm I'm, I'm convinced he's he's delivered some stuff for this contract already has he not He must have done because he's 91% complete on the contract. So we must have delivered stuff. Um, sewing field 28 with oat. Progress is at 0%. We could be doing some sewing. And uh, the 7 series would be a very good sewing machine. But once I've finished mucking about with the TMR for the cows, I could, I could go and give... Uh, get use deploy the seven series so um Contract on field 20 is finished. That's the ploughing. Contract on field 36 is finished. That is the harvesting. Um, which means we now have 11,146 litres of wheat in our lovely little grain mill. And I'm going to set that to distributing. Because I don't really want pallets appearing um the reason for that being i don't want them blocking mr tractor here right folks i'm gonna get a little bit more tmr mixed up um, and fed to these cows up here when we come back next episode I will probably jiggle things around a little bit. I will maybe swap the 7 series tractor here with the 8 series because I've got a couple of um we've got a couple of cultivating contracts to do. We've got the sowing contract to do. 
Um, so yeah, might switch the tractors. Take the 8 Series off the trailer because we've got harvesting contracts to do as well. I mean, that's not changed. We've got quite a few harvesting contracts still to do. But I would be better off having the 8 Series tractor back to do some of the other um, field work, groundwork jobs. Um, that can, because it can pull the cultivators. Mm. Obviously now the ploughing's finished on field 20. I can go and buy that field. That is fine. Mm. And then I can, like I say, if I'm, I'm going to merge it. I'm going to merge it. Um, and then I'm obviously going to just paint, do some painting around the field edges um, to sort um just make it a little bit easier for me mowing and baling on that field in the future um, it's four o'clock in the afternoon anyway so the chances of me getting a lot more done today are slim slim to none There's 90,000 odd litres of PMR added for these wonderful, lovely cow cows down here. I will also keep my eye on the hay and grass. If those figures go down tomorrow, when we start the next new day, I will know I still have my cows and my animal food working in parallel. In which case, I'm going to need to buy some grass and some hay to get those fellas bumped up because I just don't have enough in storage at the moment well that's it folks for today's video I am so pleased I've managed to get to the end of the video this time without my PC crashing I'm delighted with that so obviously something in the new version of OBS and the new OBS settings which are designed to make recording better and more efficient and you know doesn't work doesn't work on my pc so i'm going to stick to the old settings and um just have to live with it until i get perhaps a new pc somewhere down the road if i make enough money from this youtube business that i can reinvest it in a in a new pc um <laughs> we will we will uh, have a look um and i think but for now I will just stick to recording with the same settings I've been using for years. For years now. Well, no. Since the beginning of this year when I got my new 4K monitor and HDR monitor and switched to recording in 4K. So I will stay at that for now, folks. Um, and, um, yeah. I will see you all in the next video. So for, from me, see Wally. It's, a. Uh, Goodbye and cheerio, ladies and gents. Bye-bye.